Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another video. My name is of course Carboom and today we are playing Southwest Florida, a game I have not played in six months. I checked it out for the first time back then and it seemed pretty good. I thought now would be a pretty good time to come back, check it out after six months of hopefully good updates happening and also I asked over on Twitter what games I should do a video on and Southwest Florida came up a few times. So we're going to be checking out today. We've been doing a lot of ultimate driving videos in the past. I've also taken quite a bit of a weird break from YouTube, not doing a lot of videos. But here we are checking out Southwest Florida. So if you don't know what Southwest Florida is, it's a pretty heavy roleplay game with a lot, a lot of jobs to do and a pretty big map. Now the map has changed since I last played. We spawn in a completely different area. Uh, than we did last time. I think last time we spawned sort of like in a cafe area. I'm not sure, it's six months since I last played it, but just look at this map. It looks really, really cool. There's a lot of detail to this map, which I really, really like. Um, and look at all these jobs on the side. There's so much jobs to do. There's a lot of stuff to do. So if you guys want to see this game more on the channel, then smash that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you do want to see this game on the channel more often. But I want to check out what has changed. Already, I don't think they're massive... Uh, icons of locations was on the map last time so we're just gonna hop into a car right now and start exploring so this video I'm not really gonna be doing much I just want to see what has changed I can't really remember much last time I played it I don't think it was like very complete it's still in beta uh, right now so there is still a lot of stuff to be done but obviously it's much more finished than it was when I first played it and what I really really like about this game is is the spawning mechanic. The spawning mechanic of cars is really, really cool. I've only seen it in like an, one other game, I think, and I really, really like it along with um, just the cars. The cars don't have that much detail to them in terms of like interior or even exterior so much, but there's just a lot of other detail to it. Like the headlights, that is something I commented on, like they are the real uh, deal. They look like the real thing in real life. Very much detail. They are textured uh, when you can see when you get up close to them, but from a distance they look really, really cool. Sadly, it doesn't work too much with the rims, which are also textured. Uh, I think rims sort of do need to be 3D, but this also helps with performance as well. Which, with this car not having too much detail and the map not having much it's a lot of detail the map has a lot of detail but there's not much crammed into an area so i imagine this game would run fairly well obviously i'm not sure how well this game would run on a lower powered computer but it runs really really well right now and it looks really really awesome so we're driving out sort of like a suburb sort of area sort of houses it sort of felt like a little beach town area there which i really really like i really like the feel of a beach town area in roblox i don't know why i really like south beach in Westover and that area just gave the sort of the same vibe as South Beach which I really really like and I think we're sort of driving into the city area as you can tell by most of the waypoints being over here there's a few over there uh, by the seaside but I want to take the seaside bar out in grill that sounds really really awesome I don't know why that just sounds really awesome to me but let's go check out the city so it's a bit odd how the map is slowly loading in I have the graphics turned all the way up on Roblox so it's a bit odd how the map is very very slowly loading in um, but nonetheless we are slowly getting into the city it's actually a really really large map I don't think there's a mini map to actually get a feel for how big the map actually is. But I've been driving at 90 miles per hour for quite a bit. We came all the way down this road. It's a very, very long road as well. So I imagine if you have a really fast supercar, this would be an awesome, awesome place to race. But the map is very, very roleplay orientated. Like the road markings are very realistic. I'm not obviously an Amer I'm not an American, so I don't know how realistic these roads are. But to me, they look really, really realistic with a lot of the road markings seemingly to be correct. Obviously, I don't know American roads like I know UK roads, but these look pretty realistic, I think anyway. But we're coming up to what seems to be like the center of all the waypoints. So looking around, we have the dealership over here. We have a car wash. We have a dipping donuts. We have like a little donut shop. Uh, we have an automat. I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing that would be like a supermarket. We have Starblocks, which is Starbucks, and we even have a water park as well. And obviously the police station and the fire station, and even a bank. So I don't know if you could rob a bank. That would be cool if you could do robbing in this game. That would be very, very awesome. But I actually want to go to the dealership because I got $175,000 in this game. Mainly because I typed in a code for their Easter event. 
um, which gave me $150,000, I think it was. So that is a lot of money. I don't know what that'll actually buy me. I don't know if that's a lot in this game, and I'm driving the complete wrong way. So let's do a nice turn over the grassy area there, and let's head over to the dealership because this car, as nice as it looks and as nice as it feels, it is very, very, very slow. And actually, that's probably why I'm in... I'm not in automatic. So I, oh gosh, I've been driving in semi. There we go, we're back in auto. I was wondering why it was taking so long to accelerate. But okay, so this car, I guess it isn't as slow as I thought it was. That was a very, very noobish moment right there. But here we are arriving at the dealership. This dealership looks really, really nice with a lot of the cars parked outside like a real dealership. And we have a little bit of a commotion there going on with the police. So I don't want to get involved in that. But let's park up our car here and let's go inside and see what they have to offer. This looks really really awesome i'm guessing we go up to the cat maybe we go up to this then there we go okay so we have a list of cars here a lot of them i'm pretty sure i won't be able to afford but i just want to check out the hypercars let's see what hypercars they have so they have some really really nice hypercars they have pagani they have corners eggs they even have a bugatti right here and a mclaren p1 that would be awesome to get but that is way out of my budget i don't know i really don't know if this is a lot of money to have it's probably not looking how expensive things are. I just want to sift through these cars, take a look at them, and see which one would be awesome to get. Why is the Corvette so cheap? I'm gonna go with the I'm I'm gonna go with the Corvette C8. This is really, really nice. I'm gonna buy this. That's awesome. I did not expect that to be that cheap. So I'm gonna exit out there. Maybe there might have been a better deal to get, but the Corvette C8 seems like a really, really good offer to uh, pick up. So here it is, the Corvette C8. This is gonna look really really nice i need to find a good area to spawn it let's just walk over here and spawn vehicle so we already have a really really nice car to have this is awesome and we also have fuel now i don't think we had fuel in the other car that's a bit odd i never noticed there was a fuel gauge down there in the old car so maybe maybe the old car just had a very very good uh fuel source i don't know but this car already feels so much faster oh my gosh i did not expect to afford this car already this looks really really awesome again it has the same headlights uh, which i really really like sadly it also has the same 2d rims which i sort of wish it didn't have but the headlights sort of make up for it i guess you have a bit of a trade-off right you have really nice headlights but then not so nice rims they look really nice from a distance but when you get up close they just don't look as good as 3d rims but altogether, this car looks really, really nice, and I really, really like it. But this game has a lot to offer that I don't think I would be able to get across in just one video. Not even probably five or ten videos. Like, there's so much jobs to do, there's so much to check out, and it is a little bit of a shame it doesn't have a mini-map uh, to actually see how big the map is. If there is a mini-map and I'm just ignoring it completely, please let me know in the comments below, because I really want to see how big this map actually is there is so much that they could actually do to this map which i am so excited to see but it has definitely improved since the last time i played it i think i didn't really get to check the map out too much last time but already this road that i'm driving on back and forth is really really nice and once we get a much faster car than this already this is super super fast but i cannot wait to drive a hypercar down this road if i ever get to do it but i'm heading over to the seaside bar and grill because i really want to check that out because I don't know, a really nice seaside place in a game really feels nice. Alright, so here we are arriving at the seaside bar and grill. A little bit let down to be honest, there's no seaside. Wait, I guess, I mean, I was sort of expecting a beach. I don't know why it doesn't actually say beach. Yeah, maybe I was hyping this place up way, way too much. But let's go inside, let's check it out. I was sort of hoping for a beach, but this area does look really, really nice. It looks really, really awesome and a lot more detailed than I thought, honestly. It looks really, really awesome. I guess it sort of would have to be to fit the roleplay theme. That is what I mean, guys. This map is so, so catering to the roleplay. So if you want to play a new game that has a very heavy roleplay aspects, then definitely check this game out. It has a lot to do, a lot of jobs to do, and it just looks really, really awesome. Even has a full interior uh, seaside bar and grill, which I really hyped up way too much. But a cool thing I've been noticing, this game actually has some Tesla superchargers. I noticed it at the spawn area, and I've also noticed it here. So I don't know if this game has Teslas. It would make a lot of sense, but I didn't actually check, sadly, in the dealership. But it would be really cool if this game did have some Teslas to drive. 
Um, let me know in the comments below if it does have a test that I want to see if they do and possibly buy one. I don't know if I have enough money left over. I don't know if these cars are relating to their real life uh, price counterpart because if they are, I could definitely buy a Model 3 if that's even in the game. But I think I'm going to end the video off here, guys. If you did enjoy and want more of this game on the channel, possibly even doing a different style of content on this game. I've sort of been thinking of doing roleplay style content. I don't know. This game sort of fits it being so heavily roleplay aspect uh, so let me know in the comments below if you do want that smash the like button if you want it as well and if you are new around here make sure you subscribe for this style of content or possibly some roleplay content in the future if you guys want that so thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys